Hey everyone, Jeff from jeffbrown.tech here. Thanks for joining me again. I wanted to go over some PowerShell command basics. Uh, maybe you're new to PowerShell, you're just learning. I'm um, hoping these commands that I show you will help you in case you ever get stuck not knowing how to use a command or what something means. Or maybe you're a veteran of PowerShell and have just never seen these commands before. Hopefully it's packed full of uh, lots of useful commands that'll help you whether you're just uh, working in the PowerShell window or if you're writing a script. The first command I want to look at is git help. Now maybe you want to use this set local user command but you don't know anything about it. You can run git help and then the command you want to use and it will bring up some very basic information about the command. If we scroll back up here we can see the, the name for it which we already know is the command. It gives a synopsis. It's going to modify the local user account. And we have a couple of different options here showing the parameters that are available, uh, the description, uh, some related links and other related commands. In addition, uh, some other remarks of other git help commands we can use to get some more information. My favorite git help parameter to use is examples. Examples is going to show you exactly what it says. Examples of how to use the command uh, and some other basic information. I always use this one to uh, look at a command real quick and to see, hey, you know, how, how do I use this parameter? What is it expecting for this parameter, uh, etc. So I really like this one. If you want to see the full help for a commandlet, just use the dash full command. This is going to bring up all the information for a command, uh, including uh, the output that can uh, that it might generate, uh, what inputs it takes, and a little bit more descriptive example of each and every parameter. For example, the password never expires. Uh, it's going to be expecting a Boolean value, so true or false. As well as the password parameter is going to take a secure string. Now we have lots of text here. Sometimes it's hard to scroll through, or there's lots of information, or maybe you're trying to create a command and you're scrolling up and down. What I would suggest in that case is the show window parameter. This is going to bring up a separate window of the exact same information. So we have the, you know, the synopsis, the description, the parameters, and all the other information we saw in the PowerShell window. So you can move this window to the side and start writing your command in the window here with this reference information over here in the show window. Now maybe you want to find out a little bit more information about a command, like maybe what module it came from. You can use the git command along with the commandlet name, and it will bring up uh, you know, what type of command type is it, the version, and also the source module that it came from. Now maybe you want to use a command or you've used a command before, but you don't quite remember the name of it, um, and you want to search for it. Uh, the git command can take wildcards to find a uh, commandlet and maybe which module it's in. For example, let's say uh, we couldn't remember set local user, but we know it had user in it and we know it had set in it. We could run this command, and it's going to bring up every instance of command that we have installed on this machine that has set dash and then user somewhere in the noun portion of the commandlet. And then the second from the last one there, we can see, oh yeah, set local user. That's, that's the one I was looking for. Now, sometimes you might see a command, but it's not a full commandlet. It doesn't have the verb dash noun. Uh, a common example is like select or where. These are called aliases. So if you ever see what you think is an alias and you wanna find out the full commandlet for it, you can use the get alias command. You can see after running that, it's saying, oh yeah, select is an alias for select dash object. And we can do the same thing for where. And it'll show us where is an alias for where object. Now, a best practice for writing PowerShell scripts is to use the full commandlet. So we would use select dash object or where dash object. But if you're working in the command line every day, uh, just you know, trying to uh, complete a task or, or run a quick command, you can, you can use an alias, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just definitely a best practice for PowerShell scripts or functions that you might be running to use the full commandlet name. Now, if you're still learning the command or trying to understand all the parameters that are available, the last little trick I like to use is a command 
called show command. And what this will do is bring up a window much like the show window for get help, except it allows you to build the PowerShell command using all the uh, parameters that are available. So let's run this for our set local user command. When you run this, you can see it'll bring up uh, a window and it has uh, all our parameter names. We have name, account expires, description, full name, etc. And if you hover over these, like the password never expires, it's going to tell us the type. Uh, it's expecting a Boolean value, so true or false. And it is an optional parameter. We can see here, though, that name is a required parameter with a little asterisk on it. So let's fill this out real quick. We'll just say my user and say we're going to set the password to never expire to true. What we can do from here is select the copy command here, click on cancel, go back to our command window, and we've now built our command and we can paste it right into the window. So if a command has lots of parameters or maybe it has a very complicated uh, value for a parameter that you want to type in there and make sure is right, you can do it using that show command window, copy it, and then paste it right into here to make sure you've got it correct. Hope you found this useful. Uh, find me on Twitter or leave a comment down here below on the YouTube video uh, if you have any questions or any other tips or tricks that you'd like to use uh, when learning or trying to figure out a PowerShell commandlet.